Today's tip is about right clicking on the price scale to make ultra fast edits to your chart. You can control the label shown, the lines that are shown. You can control the countdown to bar close, index to 100%, regular. You can invert the scale if you want to move it to the left with one click. So this video will just quickly cover everything that's available to you when you right click on the price scale. Reset price scale. There's all sorts of options available to you. You can auto fit it. You can scale the price chart only. You can lock price to bar ratio. And then, of course, you know, unclick that and go to, say, logarithmic. So let's move this back over to the right side and just talk about why this is so important. Everyone has a different way of viewing their favorite assets. They have different approaches to analyzing the chart before them, following their favorite investments, setting up trades, or even long-term investments. And by right-clicking on the price scale, you can have more control over that view. So let's dive into one area that's really important. We right click and here's the labels. Labels are going to show you the, for example, name or price, pre and post market prices directly on the chart. So watch what happens as we check some of these labels. Let's add the symbol name. So we're gonna click this. And now we see the symbol name. This is actually a chart of silver futures. So this is silver futures for 2021. We right click, let's go back to labels. Let's add some more labels. Let's do the high and low price labels. So we click and now we see the high and the low and that is for this full time frame. Let's keep adding labels because this is how we see the information that we want to see directly on the chart and it's just easily visible so we can just make better decisions and analyze these charts. Let's add a bid ask label. So now we can see the bid and the ask. Now, obviously, spreads are tight. So we have to go into a lower time frame to really see. Let's see here. You can see this blue. Let's even go to then a minute time frame to see this. There we go. Bid ask. You can see them now moving in real time on your chart. How cool is that? Let's right click and go back to labels. And what else could we add to this chart? Well, let's say we have a moving average added to this chart. So we click. Here's our moving average. Now we right click on the scale, go to labels. And if you see here, it says indicator name label. Well, remember we just added a moving average to the chart. So we click and now we see moving average. We also wanna see the price of that moving average. So we go to labels and it says indicator last value label. We click and check it out, moving average. We even have volume now. All of this data is presented right here. The chart, of course, is getting a little noisy now because this bid ask is moving fast. And maybe we want to zoom back out just to have a crystal clear long term view. So let's remove the bid ask. We right click, we go to labels, let's remove bid ask. Perfect. Now let's go back to a weekly chart. Let's really look at the long term time frame with our moving average. And for the sake of this video, why don't we make this moving average? Instead of a nine week moving average, length is nine, we're on weekly, so it's gonna be a nine week. Let's do this as a four week moving average, so about a month, you could say. Click OK. And here is our four week moving average, right? Oops, we just have to double click this line. Let's make sure we got this. Four week, perfect. All right, now we right click on this chart. And the next thing we're going to explore are these line, are the lines. What does this mean? Well, watch what happens when we click price line. See now this dotted orange line is jetting across the chart. That's our price line. The current price of silver is now being shown with a line. Let's right click and go to lines. There's so much more we can do here. Why don't we add high and low price lines? See these dots, high and low. Let's right click and let's go to lines again. And we can even add average close price line. And remember the bid ask labels we had? Well, we could even add that to the lines. Another thing that a lot of users see on their chart is the countdown to bar close. In the countdown to bar close, you may recognize it immediately. See this right here, we click it. This tells us how much time is left until the next bar begins. In this case, it's going to be the next candle. Each candle in this case is the, is the next bar. 
We're, we are recording this video on a Monday in the early morning, and so this is four days and eight hours left until the next candle begins. So four days and eight hours until the next one begins. Right click, and of course, you can, you can quickly add that or hide that from your chart. We're gonna keep that on this chart for now, and let's go to a daily, let's go to a lower time frame. Now we see there's seven hours left. A few more things you can do when you right click here is you can reset the price scale and you can even move the scale to the left. Move it back to the right. So this is a very, very helpful tip for editing your chart's price scale. And as an example, you know, you can always use these buttons down here to go to percent, to go to log, or if your chart ever sort of gets, let's say, you know, out of, um, you know, the, the, it starts to get a little, let's say dragged away like this. You can always just click auto here to auto scale it, but you can also right click and also click auto. So auto means fits data to screen. So watch this chart snap back to fit our screen. Just like that, it refits to our screen perfectly so we can see all the information we need. And we'll just do that again. And when, by the way, when you have auto on, you can't really move the chart up or down or you know manipulate it in any other way that does not make it fit your screen. Watch what happens when we turn auto off. Now we can drag it up, down. If we want to create a completely empty chart, we could even do this. So now it's just a blank screen. Maybe we really want to zoom out so we could do something like this and watch this. We can create this to be very, very small and compressed. And now we have this ultra long-term chart that's really compressed. But of course, we can click auto here or by right clicking and it quickly snaps the chart back to its desired. Uh, scale to fit our screen. So that's really the point of this video. Right click on your charts price scale to make these edits to see the information that you want to see. We hope that this video helps you. Please leave any questions or comments below. Our team is here to help and we will try to answer your questions as fast as we can. And if you have any uh, helpful comments, maybe that you want to contribute to this video, or maybe you want to requ request that we make a video for you, please also write that in the comments. One more time, go to your price scale, right click, and you can control the price scale really quickly and make some really fast changes to it. You see how quickly we're going from regular to percent, index to 100, logarithmic. We can dive into these concepts later. And we also have a full help section that will help you understand what some of these tools mean more. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to reading your comments and questions.